The Stink Stick from Conquest Synths is by far our favorite way to deploy cover synths and attractants, as it's compact and easy to use. When you look at the Stink Stick, it's probably my number one way to deploy both Evercom, whether it's in wax format or liquid format, VS1, when I'm using it in a liquid format, you can take these little sticks and they just, they're so easy to manage. They're, they're not messy at all. You can, you know, close everything up in, inside it just like that. You can get to a place and deploy it. It's got the built-in string right here, whether you're hanging it on a deer stand, hanging it on a bush, hanging it on whatever it may be, and you're gonna be good to go to cover everything that's happening. This dowel is designed to be able to push the wax out if it's sticking in there. In this case here, it slid right out. And that's to help keep any type of a human, you know, the oils on your hands, who knows, so a lot of guys might have been filling their gas tank beforehand to eliminate getting other scent on that wax. Then it's just as simply as screwing the lid back on, screwing this up nice and tight. You put this in your backpack, put it in your pocket, whatever it may be, and you're ready to head to the stand and deploy it in so many different situations from top to bottom. And in those types of situations where in your, when you're in the field, whichever item that you're basically deploying, whether you're you know, using the Evercom here, you're going with the BS-1, I'll spin it a lot of times when I'm walking to and from to get more of that uh, scent into the air, whether it's a cover scent or whether it's something I'm using as an attractant. When you look deeper into the stink stick, family of products. This is one that I really like. It's it's basically, you know, it's the same scenario we're looking at right here, except this one's going to use a fiberglass wick that allows more airflow. And in the situations where I'm using attractant, such as, uh, you know, rutting buck or a VS1, and I'm out in that rattling situation, and I'm really wanting to get a lot of that aggressive type sense in the air, I really like that. But on the flip side of that, it's just as great when you're using the Evercom in a liquid situation. And this is, once again, this is a leak-free design. You may be worried about using liquid in this, in this type of a situation, but the way that the stink stick is designed and set up, you don't have to worry about those types of, of situations. And I'll demonstrate really quick on how this product basically sets up and works for you. This is what you're looking at inside of this type of a setup. This is the wick itself. There's already one in here. As you can see, just like the ones, uh, the, all of the stink sticks, this slides up and down. You can see the threads. It's gonna allow you to open and close it. Once again, it has a string here, so you're gonna be able to uh, deploy it in so many different situations. It's gonna it close up nicely with a no spill type scenario so that when you are putting it in your pocket, you're putting it in your backpack, whatever it may be, you're not gonna have to worry about it spilling on you. And how I basically will fill these up is I take the bottom, I screw it up nice and tight. That's the part that I'm going to deploy whenever I'm ready to use it. And then on the top, I'll take it off just like this, and you're gonna pour your liquid into the top right there. And you just pour it real slow and you let it fill up and then that's how you're gonna get that scent impregnated into this wick so that regardless whether you're using an attractant or a cover scent, you're gonna be ready to go. So now basically what you're doing, whatever liquid that you put into this is going to sink down and really soak into this wick. And that's going to help promote the airflow through. And I love this when I'm using VS1. My wife absolutely despises VS1 because she smells, says I smell like a, an old doe out there that's in heat. And But I'm like, well, that's what I'm supposed to smell like during the rut. And I'll take these out when we're rattling and you'll see them in some of our different sets hanging from trees around us. You see me swinging them in the air because when you're in rattling type scenarios, a lot of times those old bucks will come in downwind of you. So, you know, I want to get as much of that scent in the air as I possibly can for a one-two punch to get a buck in range. So regardless of, uh, you know, what you're pouring in there, this is a clean, no mess, easy to deploy, which is going to get the scent out there very, very effectively.